Hi, welcome to AFTV. I've got Robbie with me. We've just drawn 2-2 two -two to Fulham here at Emirates Stadium. I mean, Rob, we just had a guy come on, speak about Havertz. There's a lot of, lot of back and forth on that. I think we want to, I want to discuss as well today. By the way, though, I like that guy, but that's scandalous yeah. <laughs> to, to, to blame Havertz today. Right? Every, literally every player on that pitch today, apart from I'm, I'm, I'm first half, I'm going by the first half here, yeah, were really poor. Apart from Declan Rice. I thought Declan Rice played all right, but everybody, Saka, who's normally our star boy, shocker. Martinelli, shocker today, right? Um, Trossard, shocker. Everybody, everybody on that pitch. I don't know what was wrong today, man. He's like, nothing could go right. Every pass was mishit, didn't go to a player. Everything was wrong. And I have to wonder to myself, is it? I know a few people have come on and I've even been asking them. Is it the formation? Kivior did not look comfortable in that position. He never once got down a wing. He never once overlapped. He's a centre back. He's a centre back. We, I mean, I, I have to agree with some people where they're saying, I felt today, you know, get Gabriel in the team. Especially when we got back in the game, just balance it back up, bring Gabriel back in, you know what I mean, alongside Saliba. That was a great partnership last year. I didn't understand today. I didn't understand. So, so and, 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 I, and I wasn't happy with the formation before the game. And the other thing I wasn't happy was, with was, right, and I heard the guys doing the starting 11, was why did Eddie not start? Yeah. I'm like, yo, the man's like, the first game he scored, the second game um, the other day at Palace, I thought he was brilliant. All right, maybe he should have, um, he had one chance he should have buried, but he won the penalty. And you saw today again, he scored. I haven't heard no one come on here yet today and big up Eddie. Not one person. And he deserves all the I've, flowers. All, all I've heard is people talking about Havertz and this. I ain't heard no one. Eddie should have started that game today because he's earned it. You know what I mean? I, I didn't understand. Bring it, and that's not because um, Trossard had a bad game because I like Trossard, right? And I actually wanted Trossard to start the first game of the season. But I think Eddie is in the position at the moment that he's playing so well, you keep him in. I, I didn't understand. So who are you putting the finger at, Robbie? Who are you putting the finger Because it sounds like Mikel Arteta to me, because the formation, I, I think, Partey yeah, right back and all the all these decisions, Trossard not um, starting over Eddie. Who are you, who are you it's, blaming? It's, I, I don't like, I, I didn't like today, the four, I thought it was unnecessary today to play that formation. I really did. I didn't think we should have done that today. Um, so that's Arteta's fault. However, the mistakes, <laughs> Whether you play a hundred man at the back, when you give the ball away like what Saka did, yeah. in the Premier League, you're getting punished. This ain't the championship. You're going to get punished for that. When you, Zinchenko, he, I, I, you know what I, I can't understand, right? Is that away from home, we are so good defensively. The other night, Mikel Arteta, when we went down to 10 men, he bought on... Zinchenko yep. and Jorginho yep. and basically has locked off the game they controlled it they just took the ball they just passed it around Palace didn't even get a touch after that today now Zinchenko comes on right look how he gave away that was I mean that I mean I know he's not giving the goal away but that mistake of losing the ball when we're in, you know, we're two one up. They're down to ten men. Well, the then now leads to a corner, which is, you know, you, you know, if you're down to ten men, that's like a bonus you've got now. Yep. You've got a corner. Let's just get get everybody up there, and you never know. Mm. And then the defending on the corner was shocking. shocking. So today, you know, what I mean, whilst I, I I I didn't like the formation today, but I think the mistakes. I, I think every player there today got to like look at themselves and say what what you know I, I don't know you got to, in a way you got to say it's one of them days isn't it yeah but it nothing is, went right today man nothing, nothing went right it, it feels it feels painful because of the, how we started the last season but I want to speak to you about here Robbie the Emirates Stadium this is supposed to be our home our fortress we conceded early against Bournemouth last season Southampton coming into the mix what is it about when we're at home we just can't keep it tight got to fix it got to fix this problem and that's why that's why maybe the three at the back weren't the right move to make today. Let's get this place solid again. Let's let's start, you know, I, I want to see them defending at home like they do away from home. I'm getting really annoyed. We'll be playing in games, right, and we're peppering teams. At stages today, we had all the ball in there off. Then they just get, our team will get like one attack and they nearly score. Ah, oh, come on, we got, we got, we got to fix this. You know what I mean? It's... it's um, 
and and I, I must say I, I agree with some of the um, people who came on who said that you know yeah, be direct um, I want to know what you agree with is it, is it the part right back is it how I, 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 I wouldn't I wouldn't have part right back thank you right I put Ben White in there you know what I mean Ben White last season with Saka they were brilliant they were overlapping they had great communication by putting part in that we've lost that yeah right um and I, I, I just feel that we should revert back to what we were doing last season. And I'd have a midfield of um, Partey sitting, yep. Declan Rice doing what yep. Xhaka was doing last year, and Odegaard. I don't, have it, I don't care if, how many, if it costs 200 million. You have to earn your place in the okay. team. And there's plenty of games. There's plenty of games from now till the end of the season. And there's plenty of time for him to come in and for him to play. There's loads of games left. We're, for, we're three games in. We've got the Champions League draw next week. We've got the Europa League. Sorry, we've got the League Cup. We've got the FA. There's loads and loads and loads of games from now till the end of the season. So to me, you don't have to rush Havertz in. You can be bringing him off the bench. But to me, for me, I looked on it when we bought in Declan Rice. And I thought, Rice, Partey, Odegaard. I don't know why we're not doing that. So what's going on? It feels like Havertz is splitting his fan base down. Like Granit Xhaka, you saw the guy just here said, you can't drop him. But it does feel like Arteta's really is sticking by him. But yeah, we need more. And, and, and listen, and I'm backing, unlike that last guy, <laughs> so I don't know what he's on. I'm backing, I'm backing Havertz. Right? But I just, I just don't feel that at the moment he should be starting. I feel that, you know, I, come Man United next week, the strongest midfield should be Declan Rice, as I just said, Declan Rice, Partey, Odegaard. That's yeah. that's the strongest midfield for me, and, right? And then you, can, Declan Rice, Declan Rice can play that perfectly well. He can play that. He can. He can. He can. He's saying he can't. In the jacket roll. In the jacket roll. You need someone that brings the ball forward. You need Declan Rice won't bring the ball forward. Declan Rice won't bring the ball forward. I totally disagree. Declan Rice. Declan Rice can pick the ball up, drive with it. He saw him do it a few times today. He breaks up play. He can play that position perfectly well. Right? You know what I mean? Um, so to me, to me, that's what the formation should be next week. I think Arteta's tinkering a bit too much at the moment. Just go back to that and let's... We've got to get more solid at home. It's annoying me so now. United next week. Yeah, listen, we probably, we, I don't feel we play as bad as this against United because we know we can't. If we if we play so sloppily against United, we'll lose, mm. right? So despite the fact that they're not even playing well, we'll lose. So we've got to play better than this. But I just thought today it was sloppy, it was lackadaisical. Did we kind of, was it almost like the players thought, boy, it's Fulham? Well, did Mikel, it feels like Mikel thought that with the tinkering, it feels like that. And I'm going to big up um, the Doha Insurance Group who gave me hospitality today. We was next to Gabriel, um, his box, Gabriel Magalhães. And he said he's fine, everything's fine with him. His friends have said he's all good. But yeah, it's, no, something, it's, it's, something, it's something in-house. It's, it's professional, you know what I mean? And I'm sure got to get it is just though. tactical. There was fans asking me, do you reckon he's leaving? He ain't leaving. It'd be madness, but he needs to play. Yeah, Gabriel and Saliba is a great combination and not only that as well how many corners did we have today oh, right and Gabriel's brilliant he's, he's one of the best defenders that's right, yeah. scoring from corners we need him on the pitch we need him on the pitch I did not understand today I didn't understand the formation you know what I mean I, 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 I got it a bit more when, when we played against Forest I understood it because they're so negative but you know Fulham they're not as negative as a yeah as a forest and plus as well they've got the early goals so even if you did go with that from the start mm -hmm. come half time you've got to switch it back but as i said it don't matter what formation you play when you make errors that we like what we made today a ten and they're thing. horrendous horrendous errors you know and, and i'm sure you'll be really angry and really disappointed with it but the one thing i would say is that let's not panic yeah. it's the third game of the season we're still unbeaten we've got seven points you know um I'm just a little disappointed because I, you know, I, I was like, if we win today, win next week, we're going to that international break on maximum points. But listen, it's a, it's a season, but we've got to get this place back to being a fortress. Let teams come here and be very worried. You know, we can do it away from home. Yep. Let's do it at home. Yeah. Let me let me end with this, Robbie, because I want you to end with what you kind of started with, Eddie and Ketia. Every time we speak about him, everyone says he's not Jesus. He's not Jesus. And everyone's like, okay, cool. If Eddie had the confidence from the fans that, that Jesus has, think about the levels he could go to. He was superb today when he Eddie came on. He Ketio. changed the game. I want you to end with um, giving and him Ketio. his flowers. Eddie and Ketia, Jesus has been out, yeah? With a knee problem, right? And we haven't missed him because of Eddie and Ketia. Again, it's the second time he's done this. 
He scored two in three. Two goals in three games, and in the other game, he won us the, the, the penalty that won us the game, right? And yet still, there's still people that want to give the guy... It might sing Eddie Eddie in the ground, and then they'll come out and say this and that, right? <laughs> He's got two in three games. Yeah, people need to start giving this guy the respect he deserves. I've seen Chelsea go across the road, they spend billion, <laughs> right? And, you know, I think Eddie would do would be perfect if he if he went there, because he, he'd score goals. goals yeah. Give the guy time, man. This guy's doing a great job for us. He's not, our main guy's Jesus, and when Jesus is fully fit, I fully expect him to start. Yeah. But I think Eddie and Ketty as a, as, a, as a backup, and as a, I don't even want to call him a backup, because he comes in and Does he's it. effective. Yeah. Even today, when he came on, before he even scored, just him alone, his pressing, the energy he brought, him and Vieira, they changed the whole look of the game, the whole aspect of the game. And that's why I didn't understand why he didn't start. I didn't understand why he didn't start. I guess it's early in the season, you can sort of say, right, I'm going to give this guy a run out because he ain't really. But, you know, I, I think Eddie should have started today. And, and, you know, I, I, yeah, yeah I, I think he should start against Man United next week as well. Scored against them last year. We forgetting, again, <laughs> no, no, no. You're, you're there as soon as I said <laughs> that. <laughs> you see, don't no, do that, no, because I, I want to give Eddie his flowers. No, but did you see that? <laughs> you've got to. Here again. Why you why face? Face? Yeah. I said that, your face. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You scored the winner against Man United last year. It's like we, we ghost on this guy. No, I, listen, right? big him up. Big him up, man. <laughs>